As a healthcare worker in a hospital or other healthcare facility, you probably handle soiled linen every day. This linen can be saturated with blood or other potentially infectious materials, also referred to as OPIM, such as saliva, urine, or other bodily fluids. It may also contain harmful residue from medical treatments like chemotherapy or laboratory work. Since blood and OPIM may hold pathogens or harmful substances, protecting yourself, your patients, and your colleagues from exposure to soiled linen is critical to prevent the spread of infections and disease. The purpose of this video is to provide you with an overview of the healthcare industry's best practices for handling soiled healthcare linen. Following these best practices will help prevent injury and reduce the spread of infections to you, your coworkers, and your patients. These best practices can also improve patient care and promote a culture of safety in your facility. This video was produced by the Textile Rental Services Association, or TRSA, and its global alliance of member companies who are committed to a culture of safety and to being stronger together. TRSA and its members want to work with you to improve the safety of all healthcare providers and personnel, improve patient care, and reduce healthcare costs by eliminating the expense of lost linen products. To accomplish this goal, TRSA has developed several easy to implement steps that follow industry best practices to promote the safety of every healthcare worker who handles soiled linen. These steps are called the six C's of handling soiled healthcare linen. Before discussing the six C's, it's important to review what the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, calls universal precautions. Universal precautions is an approach to infection control that requires healthcare employees to assume that all human blood and OPIMs they handle are infectious. In a healthcare setting, these precautions apply to all healthcare workers, patients, residents, and visitors. Since healthcare workers do not always know which patients and residents may be carrying a virus or infection, or what infectious or harmful materials may be present on and around patients and residents, following universal precautions means that every healthcare worker must assume that all materials are infectious. Universal precautions establish the foundation for safe practices in healthcare environments. Building upon that foundation, TRSA has developed the six C's to provide healthcare workers with specific guidance on how to handle soiled healthcare linen. These six C's include cover, collect, contain, consolidate, clean, and cooperate. Let's take a more detailed look at each of the C's and what specific steps you should follow when handling soiled healthcare linen. Cover. Cover means to cover all exposed skin and membranes that could be affected by pathogens or burned or irritated by substances on soiled healthcare linen. The best cover is provided by personal protective equipment, also referred to as PPE. Your facility's blood-borne pathogen exposure control plan will establish what PPE to wear for each type of exposure situation. It's critical that healthcare workers follow their facility's specific PPE recommendations to protect against risk of exposure, where equipment like gloves, gowns, and protective eyewear may be donned before handling soiled linen. Verify that this protective equipment is not damaged before using it and never reuse disposable equipment. But remember, requirements may vary from facility to facility based on risk exposure and possible contaminants. Check with your healthcare facility to clarify what PPE is required and approved for use. Collect. The proper steps to gather and bundle soiled linen from a patient's room is the second C for collect. Once you are covered with PPE, you can begin collecting soiled linen. First, look for and remove all non-linen items such as trash, medical material and equipment, patient personal effects, medical instruments, electrodes, disposable underpads, sharps, and hazardous objects that could impact other healthcare workers if not disposed of properly. 
These items should be collected and safely disposed of according to your facility's procedures. Items such as gauze, bandages, plastic tubing or other disposable items, including disposable PPE that are saturated with blood are considered red bag waste. Next, take a visual inventory of all soiled linen in the room. Soiled linen is any linen item used to treat and care for patients during their stay in the healthcare facility. This includes linen soaked in blood or other bodily fluids. Regardless of how saturated the linen is, blood-soaked and fluid-soaked linen is not red bag waste or trash. Modern laundering processes use chemicals, heat, and enzymes to kill viruses and infection-causing bacteria like MRSA. This means that even the dirtiest and most blood-saturated linen can be returned to hospital clean. Take note that if a patient has been discharged, then all linen in the room must be treated as soiled linen, even if it has not been used. Once all soiled linen is identified, bundle the linen with as little movement as possible. When stripping sheets, start at the corner of the bed and slowly fold the linen onto itself to avoid excessive fluffing of the linen. Do this until the linen is a large ball that can be easily moved with no loose fabric. Do not allow the soiled linen to contact any exposed skin or your scrubs or uniform. If soiled linen must be held against your body, it is essential to wear a gown. And never place soiled linen down on clean surfaces, other patient beds, or furniture in the room. If accidental contact occurs, then immediately disinfect the affected area. Contain. The third C is contain. Once collected, soiled linen must be contained in soiled linen bags for retrieval by your linen service provider. Remember, soiled linen is not disposable. Soiled linen is not red bag waste. Even if linen is saturated with blood or bodily fluids or was used by isolation case patients, it is still considered soiled linen and is not trash or red bag waste. Improper disposal of soiled linen leads to linen loss, which costs your facility money, which could otherwise be used to augment staffing, improve equipment, and help you enhance overall patient care. Place only soiled linen in the designated soiled linen bags, but keep in mind that all non-linen items, such as trash and sharps, should be removed prior to containment. Bags should only be filled two-thirds of the way to ensure that enough space remains to tie the bags tightly with secure knots. Overfilled bags can break, causing spillage and the spread of potentially infected material. Also note that when saturated with liquids, soiled linen contained in bags can become heavy, posing a lifting risk. Lift all bags in a safe manner and remember, a bag that is two-thirds full is considered a full bag. Consolidate. The fourth C stands for Consolidate. After containing the soiled linen in bags, the soiled linen must be properly consolidated in a central location for retrieval by your healthcare linen service provider. When consolidating linen in a cart, ensure that all bags are tightly tied closed before placing the bags in the cart. Do not put anything other than securely closed soiled linen bags in the carts. Red bags, trash, other bagged waste, and loose linen do not belong in these carts. Also, to prevent bags from falling off of carts and creating potentially hazardous spills, do not overfill the carts. Use all the space that you can, but stop before overfilling them. Similar practices apply to the use of linen chutes. Ensure all soiled linen bags are tightly tied shut before placing them in a chute. Do not place anything other than the closed soiled linen bags in chutes designated for soiled linen red bagged waste, trash, loose linen, or any other material should not be placed in linen chutes. To prevent blockage in the chutes, do not overfill chutes with soiled linen bags. Work with your colleagues and hospital staff to set a regular schedule for the consolidation of soiled linen in your facility's soiled linen area. Properly managed chutes and carts are less likely to become hazardous. And, of course, follow all safety procedures for chute usage to prevent accidents and injuries. Clean. The fifth C represents clean. Once you have consolidated all of the soiled linen, you must remove, store, or discard personal protective equipment and clean your hands to reduce risk of infection and contamination. 
If your skin or clothes are dirty from the linen, contact your supervisor as soon as possible. All PPE should be properly removed to minimize exposure to any infectious material that may be on the outside of the equipment. Disposable PPE should be discarded in appropriate locations and reusable PPE should be cleaned and stored according to your facility's procedures. Once all PPE has been removed and properly managed, follow proper hand hygiene to further safeguard against accidental exposure. Remember, only a safe and healthy you can protect patients, residents, and coworkers from a healthcare-associated infection. And cooperate. The sixth and final C stands for cooperate. Handling soiled healthcare linen is a team effort between the individual healthcare worker, facility administration, environmental services staff, and contractors like your linen service provider. Cooperation between all parties is critical to ensure that proper procedures have been developed, training on safe work practices has been performed, and there is ongoing communication about how to improve safety in the healthcare environment. It is up to you, the healthcare worker, to voice any issues and concerns you may have with readiness, standards, and procedures. An ongoing dialogue and regularly scheduled training are essential to ensure that universal precautions and industry best practices are updated, maintained, and consistently followed at your facility. Through readiness and safe job performance, Cooperation makes healthcare teams stronger together and enables us to deliver the best care for our patients. As a healthcare worker in a hospital, nursing home, or other healthcare facility, you probably handle soiled linen every day. This increases your risk of exposure to pathogens and harmful substances in blood and bodily fluids found in the soiled linen. Following the six C's of handling soiled healthcare linen, cover, collect, contain, consolidate, clean, and cooperate will help prevent injury and reduce the spread of infections to you, your coworkers, and your patients and residents. It is up to you to understand, know, and follow these six C's in your day-to-day -day work. Remember, only a safe and healthy you can protect patients, residents, and coworkers from the spread of infection. On behalf of the Textile Rental Services Association and all of our associated healthcare linen service providers, we thank you for watching and look forward to being safer and stronger together.